So in SPL 6, we talked about, it was about uh, information systems development. And so I answered uh, question number five, which is define and describe the five stages in a traditional formal systems development process. Uh, and so that process begins with the first stage of planning. And in this stage, you have to identify problems uh, that you want to solve. And you do this by like defining the goals and objectives that you want. And then you also conduct uh, feasibility studies. So like uh, finance, like how much it's gonna cost, uh, organizational, like who needs to be in what places, and then technical, what systems you need to have. Um, and then the next stage would be the analysis stage. And in this stage, this is where you, when you determine the requirements and what the users want uh, from the systems. And an example of this would be like the requirements for inside Pacific system. Uh, like you would, for that system, you is uh, you would want to check account balances, register for classes and view grades. Um, and then the next stage would be the design phase. And in this stage, you convert the requirements into technical blueprints. So that would be like, uh, you want the computers, the networks and user interface designs, uh, such as forms and reports. Uh, the fourth stage is implementation. So based on the designs you would build or acquire hardware or software, you would install software, integrate the system, train users and test the system. And then finally, the final stage is uh, maintenance. And so this is like when your your product is, is uh, released and you have to continue to maintain uh, your system so it stays up to date with security issues or if there's any bugs in the program, you can fix it uh, then and there.